I'm Nate McLaughlin. And I'm Justin Driscoll, and together we're Harrison Hill. Hill um, is the hill in Lovelady in which my grandfather lived and right down that hill which used to be my old house ironically Nate moved into they lived there for a few years of course my grandpa lived in that house for forever but you know when we were discussing a name you know we kicked around a lot of stuff I, I wrote something down like Nate McLaughlin and the cowpokes it finally came down to why don't we just be called you know where we're from you know on that hill and so Harrison Hill just stuck. I've known Justin he's since I married into the family we started playing together just when he would you know come in and when we get together and play in the loft and just kind of practice and just hang out and then kind of started you know turning into hey let's let's try to find some gigs around here and we got one and then one turned into two and so it just kind of snowballed since then and it's been good we've been staying pretty busy with it. He's married to my first cousin they rodeo. I don't rodeo, <laughs> but however, I know about all the, the countryside, especially the country music. But when he came down, I heard he could sing and play guitar. It was almost like, hey man, you know, I, I play guitar and I can put some harmonies on your vocals and we can see where this goes. And together, we're, I think we have a really good sound, but ultimately, yeah, we're cousin in laws. I think our first one was the El Himidor gig there in Crockett. Yeah, we started there. That was kind of the, the OG. And then uh, just the people that come, it seemed like somebody's came and it's turned into a private party, somebody having a throw together, and uh, yeah, it's been one gig turned into another, and I think that's where it all started, kind of from down here. Nate and I like to say we'll play for one or 100, doesn't matter, you know, I think it's very important when, it, when, it, when you start up is you're not looking to play for everybody, you're just looking to play for somebody, you know. So I work uh, pest control, and I work during the week, Monday through Friday. And then most of the weekends, Friday and Saturdays, we're playing. Sometimes Thursdays, just because it's, it works better for people who ask us to play, and we're, we're down to, to bend as much as we can to get some of these shows in for some of these people. Yeah, we work all week, and then we play on the weekends. I actually grew up in the Panhandle uh, in Mobiti, 100 miles east of Amarillo, and married an East Texas girl, and so I uh, got me a job in the oil field and we moved down here, been here nine years. The band I played with back home was trying to pursue it more and make it big and that's when me and my wife found out we were pregnant with my oldest and so it's pretty hard at times to juggle it but especially got a full family life. Forming a full band is definitely in the talks um, and in, in I'd say the works but we've kind of kept it just he and I just because of the uh, gigs we get um, are low key and we like that. We'd rather play something more toned down, I think, just because we're not really ready for a full band. It's doable, we just haven't decided to go with it yet. When I moved to East Texas, I've been a part of a, two or three different little small bands. Started playing in high school, probably freshman, sophomore year, there was a band, uh, FFA band, and kinda got me uh, interested, so they taught me and showed me a few chords and took off from there. When I was in school, in college, I went for like music and business. When I got out of college, I was like, I'd rather be in front of a crowd playing because there's no other thrill than like getting in front of a bunch of people. You know, it really takes your mind off everything out of, in the world and you know, you just kind of, you're very in that moment and it's uh, a good way to, I don't know, get away for a little bit even though, you know, you're right there in front of everybody. I wouldn't consider myself a polished songwriter, so I've got a few. He's working on a few, we've got a few that we've worked on. I like to, I mean, I'm always trying to put something down on paper and I've written a bunch of different things, but ultimately, you know, he has a, the original song he wrote called Home Place, which we hope to debut as our first single. I mean, I try uh, to go through the set list before we play, you know, just to kind of refresh my, my memory and uh, kind of move my fingers around the guitar a little bit. We hope to play a lot more shows in 2023. Although we kind of played here and there in 2021, 2022 was really like, let's try to stick with it more and like try to come up with a name and we created a Facebook. But 2023 ought to be a bigger year for us. You know, we may form a band, we may not. I'm hoping we at least get some tracks out under our name. What's become of that so-and-so? Tell them I'm somewhere looking for you. Find a long white line.